Hello everybody, you are warm welcome on Mirna classes. So how are you guys? In the previous video, we have just studied about what is matter. In this video, we are going to study about a very important point of the matter that is the interconversion of matter. So be ready with us and if you like our video, then please like, share, comment and subscribe our channel and motivate us to do. In the previous video, we have studied about the states of matter. There are three states of matter that are the solid, liquid and gases. Here now let's move to our next very important point that are the interconversion of the states of matter. It is very interesting how we convert solid to liquid, liquid to gaseous, gaseous to liquid and they are different, different, different processes are which help us to convert different states of matter to other states of matter. So we can do the interconversion of matter by the two main bases that are the change in the temperature you have studied about temperature in the junior classes that the temperature is the measure of degree hotness or coldness of a body we can find the hotness how hot or how cold a body is and the last way is the changing in the pressure we can change in the pressure so every state of matter convert into other states of matter now here we can convert solid into liquid we know that we convert ice into water then we can convert solid into gaseous as we know the naphthalene ball converted into gaseous in a few days we can convert liquid in gaseous we when we boil a water it converts into vapor and it proved that we can convert liquid into Gas is a state and we can also convert liquid into solid state. As we know when we keep water in a freeze in the ice cubes we found that ice is, ice is being made so we can it proves that the liquid is also converted into solid state and the gaseous is also converted into liquid. Have you ever seen when you keep a hot water and then when you keep a plate on it then what happens? After a few time there's a water droplets from the plate. What is that? That is the gaseous that converted into liquid on cooling. We have studied that solid in converted into liquid, solid is converted into gaseous, liquid is converted into gaseous, liquid is converted into solid and gaseous is converted into liquid. These all processes are classified in a proper term. We are now going to study about that term. Now our first conversion is solid to liquid. This is a very interesting term. It is also called what? Melting. Melting is the conversion of solid into liquid. So the exact definition of the melting is what? Melting is the process of change of the solid state to liquid state on heating. When we heat an object and it changes into the liquid state, then the, this conversion of matter is known as melting. For example, take a ice and heat it. What happens? It changes into the water. There are some terms that affect melting. That are the melting point. A, a temperature at which an object melts. How heated an object to make it melt is known as the melting point of the object. The nature of the solid. We have just studied about the molecular attraction of the solid. It is very tightly packed. So the solid which is which have a very 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 tightly packed it needs a lot of heat for the melting while an object a solid which has attraction force but not so tightly packed it needs a less amount of heat to melt okay and the third term that affect the melting is the effect of pressure you have studied about the contraction and expansion of now we are going to study about the contraction and expansion of an object on melting we have to know about the iron does it melt easily no it cannot because its molecules is very tightly packed and it expands on eating and while the steel do you know steel yeah, absolutely. Steel gets contracted during melting. So, 
the effect of pressure is also affect the melting of an object so now we are going to study about the freezing of object so be continued with us and watch the video till end now we are going to study about the second term of the conversion of the states of matter that is the how we convert liquid into solid and this term is also called the freezing we can also say the liquid to solid change is also known as freezing and the exact definition of the freezing is what the freezing is the process of change of the liquid state into the solid state on cooling when we cool a liquid liquid substances and it converted into the solid substances then the process is known as freezing and the term that affect the freezing is the freezing point it is the temperature in which a liquid converted into the solid on atmospheric pressure now we are going to study about a very important topic that is the evaporation what is evaporation evaporation is a change of the liquid state into the gaseous state and the exact definition of the evaporation is what the change of the liquid state of to gaseous state of an on heating when we heat a liquid object then it changes into the gaseous this process is known as evaporation we have done the when we boil the water it changes into steam the steam is what the gaseous so this process is called the evaporation the, there are three names of the evaporation that are the first is evaporation second is vaporization and third is boiling we can call evaporation in this way and the factors that affect evaporation is what the factors that affect evaporation is first is the boiling point the temperature at which a liquid is boiled or heated is called the boiling point of the substance and the second is the effect of pressure when we apply external pressure on the liquid or substances that turns it into gases at a higher temperature the effect of pressure is affected the vaporization or evaporation so there are two main term that affect evaporation that are the boiling point and effect of pressure so now we are going to study about condensation so be ready with us now we are going to study about our next term the process of changing of the gaseous state to the liquid state so what we call the change to the gaseous state to liquid state we say this process as condensation a beautiful name of this process is condensation the exact definition of the condensation is what condensation is a process of changing a gaseous to liquid on cooling when we cool down gases it changes into liquid i told you that when you get plate on steam or vapor that coming out from the boiling water we sometimes ago we get a water droplets coming down from the plate that is what that is the gas that changes into the liquid when the boiling water cool down so all these gases changes into liquid by the process of condensation the applications of condensation is what you have seen fog that comes in the winter due to condensation you see dew is caused due to condensation that are the applications of condensation condensation is very important now we are going to study about sublimation sublimation or solid converted into directly gaseous state this is very interesting now how solid directly convert into gaseous so let's read the process of change of solid state to gaseous state on heating when we heat a 
solid substance then they directly converted into gaseous state this process is called sublimation like naphthalene bond camphor these are the example of sublimable substances and directly reverse of the sublimation is desublimation means change of the gaseous to solid state in in this process the change of the gaseous state directly into solid state on cooling this is done on cooling that is directly gaseous state converted into solid state these are called the desublimation